Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm actually going to be teaching you some important navigational shortcuts or some basic shortcuts that you basically need to know when you're working with Framer. And these are going to be a bit different from Figma. So even if you're familiar with Figma, you actually may need to have a look at them. So the first thing is uh, zooming in, panning in and out and stuff along those lines. So first of all, when you're basically on the page, you're gonna see these controls at the bottom. The first one is a pointer. The second one is a hand. The third one is a comment. The fourth one is useless. It's just like light, light and dark mode. I'm not sure why they actually placed it here because I'm not sure how many people are, how many times people are actually switching through them. It's probably gonna be once in a while. But then you have some zoom shortcuts as well. But the first thing that I want you to do when you're actually in a file and you want to navigate left and right, you just need to press space and you can click and you can drag to basically move up and down left and right. So that's what you can do, even if you are on top of a particular element. So I'm on top of this element, I just wanna move on the left, I'm gonna press space and then click. Pressing click and then moving obviously is gonna mess, mess up the layout, it's gonna mess up the elements. But if you press space first and then click and drag, it's gonna be fine. And this is the same behavior as let's say just uh, scrolling left and right or up and down. Uh, I'm using a magic mouse. Here's the magic mouse. So obviously you can swipe or scroll all the other ways. But if you're using a simple mouse, you can obviously do the up and down. And then if you wanna do the left and right, you can use the panning tool. I think panning is a really good and default behavior that you should be comfortable with. So once you actually understand that, now if I wanted to select this Figma noob to pro text, how would I do that? Well, in Figma, what you used to do if you wanted to select an element that's buried deep within, you actually had to do command click. But now you no longer have to do that because if, as you can see, if I'm, let's say command, I have the command key pressed and I'm trying to select this, the no bullshit course. I can't really select it because when you're actually pressing command and I'm gonna go to my layers panel. So again, really important that if you wanna jump to the layers or assets panel or pages, you can use option one, two, three. And I think that's gonna be alt on windows or something. If you press command, command is never gonna select the inner element. It's actually gonna select the parent element. So for example, if I'm pressing command here, it's actually selecting the parent frame here. If I'm pressing command here, it's selecting the parent frame here. If I wanted to select this, the, the no bullshit course, I can just click on it. If you wanna select any particular element, you can just click on it and that element is going to be selected. Similarly, obviously here, this is uh, a bunch, this is actually a component, so I wouldn't be able to select it. I would have to double click it and then go to the components panel and then select it. So obviously you wouldn't be able to select it like that. A few other things when we're talking about focusing on certain elements and those are zoom shortcuts. So obviously you can zoom in up and down just by using, just by pressing the command key and then uh, scrolling up and down. I'm not sure what that is on Windows. Maybe it's like control. So if you press command or control maybe on Windows and you just scroll up and down, you would you would basically be able to zoom in and out. For those uh, or for people whose zoom is actually appearing like or working in a reverse direction from some of the other tools that they're coming from like Figma or Sketch, then they need to go here and they need to change the reverse zoom direction. If they change it based on their own liking, it's gonna again work similar to the other applications that they have. I actually like it like this. So again, I'm just gonna leave it, leave that to you guys. Now, if I wanted to focus on some particular text, what would I do? Well, if I wanted to, first of all, <clears throat> zoom to fit, what would I do that? Or just, uh, just see everything. Well, the first thing I can do is just press command one. If I press command one, it's basically gonna zoom to fit or it's gonna zoom to a particular level where I can see everything. If I have something selected and I wanna zoom specifically to it, I can press command two and it's gonna take me directly to it. So for example, if I just have, let's say this element selected, this that text selected, I'm sure you don't even see it on the screen that much, but if I press command two, it's gonna take me to the element that I have selected and it's gonna zoom in on that. So command two is a really important shortcut. Command one basically allows you to see everything and command zero is the shortcut to actually see things uh, in their default original size. So those are just some key shortcuts of zooming, panning and stuff along those lines that I need you to be aware of. Another important thing that I just want you to know is the command K shortcut. So the command K is gonna help you actually access relevant uh, links, relevant documents. So for example, if I wanted to access the home page, I can just uh, type command K and then home, I can go to it. If I wanted to access the course page or actually see the some of the components that I have by name and stuff along those lines, for example, I wanna actually access the button component. So I'm not gonna try to find the button component and double, double click it on that. I'm not gonna go to the assets panel and try to find the button component from here. I'm just gonna search for 
command K and then press button and then press enter. So I basically have that particular component directly dragged here and I can play around with it. So again, pretty simple stuff. And one other important shortcut that you obviously need to know is if you wanna preview your designs, you can just press command P and that's gonna give you the previewer. You can obviously scale up and down and then if you, if you just press escape, it's gonna take you back to the file. So those are just key important shortcuts that I want you to know and familiarize yourself with so that we can move forward at a much faster pace.